Assalamu alaikum. For my homemade cream caramel, you'll need a half cup of sugar, quarter cup of water, three dice unsalted butter, and a quarter cup of whipping cream. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's start baking. Assalamu alaikum. Here I'm going to be making some homemade cream caramel. You will need for this uh, recipe uh, the cream caramel. You'll need some sugar, you need some butter, and whipping cream. And also some water so here I'm gonna be adding some sugar I usually do this by eye but I will give you guys the measurements but um, I'm using this kind of pan because if it boils uh, or um, when it boils, it needs uh, this kind of pan so it doesn't go all over. But um, I'm gonna add a little bit more. So I added a quarter cup of this measuring cup. Um, I added about four and a half of these so to cover this um, pan. But if you're making more, you'll add some more. But if you're making less, you make some less. I'm gonna be also adding some water. This I am not going to mix or anything, uh, it's going to boil by itself until it caramelizes. Then I'll show you guys what I'm going to do next, inshallah. So here it's on high heat uh, until it starts to boil and caramelize. Then um, I need to take it out of the, oven, uh, the stove and add the next ingredients. I'll show you guys later. Okay, here it's uh, my uh, sugar is caramelized. As you see, I'm going to add a um, little bit of butter and give this a mix. Also, some whipping cream. This needs to get a good mix really fast because, as you see, that's why I took it out of the um, stove top. It even gets sticky, but um, you should be careful. Because it will melt uh, completely. This looks beautiful. Just make sure when you make this, you put a good eye on it. Because if it burns, it's going to smell um, burnt and um, it smells gross. <laughs> but. Um, And it's gonna be hard to clean because it happened once with me. Thank God it was only once. But I um, learned my lesson and it needs a good, good eye on it. Make sure that you don't leave it. Okay, I'm just gonna put it back a um, little bit on the stove. Just want it to bubble a little bit more on medium heat. Then I'm going to take it out, just leave it until it, um, it will set and it will thicken up. This tastes so good and delicious. Um, there's also another uh, recipe that I usually make. I, eat, I make with it, I add a little bit of chocolate chip, uh, milk chocolate chip, and with it, it tastes so good. But um, this is good. I'm just gonna let it boil a little bit more and um, it's good to go. It just needs to cool down until it thickens up. Uh, and I'll show you guys how it looks when it's thickened up, inshallah. I wanted to share this um, tip. Usually, you can leave it in the pan until it's cooled down, but I did transfer it into a measuring cup and uh, let it cool um, completely uh, out of the heat. Um, so I'm going to let this still cool down, but it tastes so good, and I can't wait until it cooled down completely. I did make this for a recipe that I'm going to be using and sharing with you guys. 
inshallah but i like to make mine fresh my caramel fresh uh, this is how i like it um but uh, you can also put in a refrigerator um to cool down if you're in a hurry but this is uh, i let it to cool down as it is and i'll show you how you guys it looks like when it's done uh, when it's thickened up inshallah